Petrov's defense, classical attack, 5, d5 6.bd3 b7 7.00 nc6. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. It is excellent. Nx e5 places the knight in the center, where it has influence over many crucial squares, and takes the undefended e5 pawn. It is ideal. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is best. Nf3 returns the attacked knight back to the f3 square, where it supports the d4 square and fights for the e5 square. It is best. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board, where it controls many important squares. It is best. d4 takes space in the center, controls the e5 and c5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. It is best. d5 takes space in the center, defends the knight on e4 and controls the c4 square. It is best. bd3 develops the bishop, attacks the knight on e4 and prepares castling. It is best. Nc6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. It is excellent. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This protects the attacked knight. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is the last book move. Recaptures. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This misses an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This exchange is fair. That's good backs off. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. This misses a chance to protect a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to win material. It is best. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This is how you take the pawn. 
it is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This threatens to win material. It is best. This wins a pawn. This is the only good move. This prevents the opponent from being able to win material. It is a great move. This strikes a rival rook. It is ideal. This is how you take the pawn. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This succeeds in capturing a helpless rook. It is ideal. This eliminates a rook that was in danger of gaining material. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with the knight. It is a mistake. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. That's good. That pawn was available for free. That's good. This threatens to fork pieces. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This defends the attacked pawn. This threatens to fork pieces. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. This makes it impossible for the adversary to fork parts. It is ideal. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This is a missed chance to imply that winning a rook is possible. It is incorrect. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. Right on target. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.